Hello everyone, it's Chad Miller and I'm here with another <laughs> edition of Twiggy Maniac. And um, I need to keep this rolling. So as of right now, my studio area is quite a mess because of um, not only the purchases that I've made for my collection, but the many wonderful gifts that all of you subscribers out there have been sending me. Um, I know your few. I, I, I can't thank you enough for your dedication and um, wanting me to review content and allowing me to have these things to build this massive collection that I'm getting to the point of um, running out of space a little bit. I, um, I've decided that uh, between my action figures, uh, dolls, whatever, Funko Pops, I'm gonna just have to continuously, like, interchange them from time to time. Um, I love the things that I receive from you guys, don't ever get me wrong on that, I appreciate that to an nth degree. Um, so, um, Still, I've got <laughs> so many things that I still have to, to work on. But, anyways, so, um, on to uh, the next uh, gift that I received from a scriber. Um, as you know, or if you don't know already, I've posted uh, a link to my Amazon wish list and um, I put things on there primarily because these are things that I want. Um, these are items that I necessarily wouldn't buy outright unless I really uh, just really wanted something new for my collection. Um, and you all have been really awesome about um, bringing those items to me. Um, if it's something that I must have, I don't put it on the wish list. I buy it outright. <laughs> um, so that's that's kind of how it works. Um, and there are many, many, many figures that I've been grateful to have. Um, because of you guys. I mean, for instance, Spider Boy. This is an amazing figure. I never would have bought her outright, and actually, I never found her in the stores. Um, so that that was really really nice. Um, and there are several several more examples of that that have come through um, via this channel and you amazing people out there. <laughs> so anyways, on to this, because I just get so gosh darn long-winded. Um, here is another example, Lady Deathstrike. Yes, I would love to have this figure. I probably wouldn't buy it outright if I saw it in stores, unless I was down to like a, or I really want something new. Um, so, um, thankfully enough, this arrived in the mail today, and, uh, or in the post, or by Amazon, the Amazon. Um, 
so um, I'm going to crack into this and kind of uh, give you a little bit of history on how I feel about this character and what this actually does mean to me. Okay, so we have a Marvel Legends of Lady Deathstrike now, and this is uh, very interesting to me because I've in the comics, I've never found her to be very fascinating. I, I felt that she was a cheap knockoff, um, just another villain to go against Wolverine, who already has a robots gallery larger than Batman, um, and they all had the same intention. <laughs> the one thing that... Um, did fascinate me a little bit was her portrayal in the X-Men animated series in the 1990s. It, it kind of brought a little bit of a depth to her that made me feel um, a little bit better about her, but it was more because of the animated aesthetic that they gave her. And um, it was kind of interesting because in uh, recent viewings, um, or actually, oh no, it was the book that I bought about uh, the making of the animated series where they uh, did leave uh, her cleavage accessible on some uh, shots of the show and then other ones in which they had it covered up. Um, and it's fascinating uh, thinking about that and seeing that she does actually have cleavage um, and also showing the cybernetics that are entwined within her as far as uh, whatever adamantium that she has in her body. Alright, so Yuriko Oyama is the name of the characters, uh, well, her actual name, um, upon, I'm trying to get as close as I can without getting too blurry, okay, come on, to me, she really doesn't look that Asian, um, and that's a little disappointing, um, she does have a nice tilt to the head. The look back is um, not very prevalent due to the strands of her hat, if you will. The look forward is okay. It's clearly 360. We get an extremely nice lateral lift in the arms. Not only is there a shoulder twist, but there is a bicep turn. Something that is so freaking rare in female Margin Marvel Legends characters. The elbow is uh, single jointed, and I think that's uh, probability because of the texture of the lower half of the arm of the costume, um, which is nicely detailed. Um, does the inner arm does not turn, and then uh, you kind of have to play delicately with the flex of the hands. Um, because it's not as if they flex every single way, but the aesthetic of them is just tremendous. I'm gonna try to out this one for a little bit as well. Um, her claws, or her nails, I should say, are adamantium, um, like Wolverine's claws. Um, I 
the design of this figure is just stunning. Okay, so, um, we do get a waist turn. Very clicky, so you know it's stable. The texture, um, the detail there is really nice. I like that. Lateral lift on the legs is actually a bit of an improvement uh, based on other figures. Get a thigh turn. There is a multifunctional double jointed knee. No boot turn, which is fine. She doesn't need it. Flex forward on the foot. Yeah. Flex back. A lot better. And when you locate the pivot, it is there. Um. So overall, I've never, ever, ever, ever been a fan of Lady Deathstrike, by any means. Aside, you know, just the interpretation that they gave her in the 90s animated series was nice. I, I, I mean, as hokey as a cartoon kid show can be, um, I appreciated that. Uh, her character in X-Men 2, very, very, very undervalued and um, to a degree overplayed based on her nails. I mean, uh, it is what it is. But this figure, um, whether I like this character or not, this is a stunning Stunning figure. Um, th this is one that I'm sure to have displayed consistently. So yeah, uh, this is my review of uh, Marvel Legends Lady Deathstrike. Um, yeah, yeah, this is. It's like statue quality, honestly. <laughs> so anyways, I want to uh, thank the subscriber that sent this to me. I never thought that I would enjoy this figure as much as I do. Um, so yeah, that being said, um, I'm going to leave this episode right now. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, the comments, the shares the whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it um my channel at 213 subscribers is actually doing really well <laughs> um it's, it, in my terms um it's not mega famous it's not you know viral or anything like that i get a really good amount of views i get some really nice comments. I get some wonderful gifts from my subscribers. Um, the fame, the whatever it is, the monetization that comes along with all this doesn't really mean anything to me. I just want to provide good content and uh, show appreciation to those who are actually watching. So with that being said, love and light. To you all.